is up you guys welcome back to my channel so for today what I wanted to do was a little bit more Halloween vibes type of video maybe a little friend here that wore his costume today if you guys didn't see it go check out Instagram Carl has his own Instagram as well which we're gonna post it on tomorrow I did a little video of Carl's costume and I'll probably do a little bit more Carl in tomorrow's video but for today what I wanted to do was take you guys through three really easy DIY projects that Okay, I shouldn't say super easy, but pretty easy DIY projects that you could do with your kids or with your spouse or just by yourself while you have a cocktail and watch a Halloween movie, but they're all Disney-esque themed. They're very Halloween-y and very fun. So if that's something you guys wanna see, then just keep watching. All right, so jumping right into this, I'm gonna share all the things that I made over the last couple of days, all the Halloween treasures. I'll start with the simplest ones. So. I shared these pumpkins with you guys. I bought these three pumpkins from HomeSense, which is basically like a Home Goods or a Marshalls. And they were basically just, they had like the felt and I wanted them to be Cinderella'd out. So I glittered them up. But what I was thinking is you could totally make this. Like if you put a bunch of fluff and you get some felt and you tie it at the top and you put like some pipe cleaners, the top and you could like even papier mache like the top of it and glitter it, you could totally do this yourself. But I found the pumpkins pre-made. So I'll show you guys. I got white and gray and I just, I basically just dumped, oh, some glitter just fell on Carl. I basically just dunked this thing in glue, like glitter glue. I'm sorry, buddy, you're covered in glitter. And then I dunked it in the glitter also. And then I just kind of let the excess fall. But you can see it's like very, very sparkly. I don't even know if the camera picks it up. So I have three of them. I have a really big white one and then a medium sized white one. <laughs> and then I have the little, little gray guy. So these are super cute all together. And then with some fairy lights that I got off of Amazon. And I'm going to link those fairy lights down below for you guys because I have to say I'm really impressed. You can see them all the way back there. <laughs> shimmering so they have like I want to say like a dozen different settings and it's 33 feet long I'm probably gonna get more for Christmas honestly I really really like them and they don't tangle very easily like they're good quality so continuing on with the other DIYs that I did I started googling and I started trying to think of like Halloween Disney movies and the only DIY for Hocus Pocus was that book which like by no means is that simple to make so no that did not happen but then I started thinking of my most recent favorite Pixar movie is Coco I'm obsessed with it and it's kind of Halloweeny like technically the day of the dead falls on I think it's like November 2nd or something sorry for my lack of knowledge but it's still kind of Halloweeny like there's like skeletons and stuff so the skulls that you guys saw in our drinking game video, if you didn't check out that video, you have to go see that video that I posted the other day. Andre and I did, a, we made a bunch of different Halloween cocktails. I shared all the recipes with you guys. So if you're hosting a Halloween party or whatever, or you just want to play the Hocus Pocus drinking game, go check that. It was hilarious and such good Halloween spooky vibes. But I had got these skulls for that video. I just picked them up at Michael's. They had everything like buy one, get one or 60% off or something. Like I bought so much stuff from Michael's the other day much to Andre's dismay. Does anybody else have a husband that hates going to Michael's? Andre hates it. So we went to Michael's and I got these two skulls. I got a little skull and a big skull. And I, I was like, oh my God, I could make cocoa skulls. So I did one like generic, like I did the cocoa skull, like on the cover of the movie. And to do this, I basically just Googled cocoa skull artwork. And the cool thing about this is, and this is where I was thinking like this could really be for little kids. You could get them the skull maybe paint it white for them to help them at least have a base and then just let them decorate like with flowers and hearts. Like by no means was I an artiste with this, but he looks cool, right? So I did like a heart and then I really just followed like the Coco cover movie one, but I still like, by no means was I super talented in doing this, but I think he looks super cute. And then I went a little bit further. I love this little guy. So I, he needs, uh, Andre says he needs a bit of a rounder face, but I think he's really cool. I made Miguel. <laughs> so if you have a red hoodie, so this is just my red hoodie. See, he doesn't have, so I did like his hairline and then I put the red hoodie and then I want to put like a stick. He's made of foam. And then I want to make him like float in the garden outside. So you guys can see up close how I did that. I painted him all white. So same thing, he's just a skull that I got like made of foam and I painted them all white and then I did the black around the eyes and then to do the eyes I used like a copper color and then I just put two white dots like by no means was this professional and then his little his little mouth and I did the little spots like Miguel has. Cute right? Except I, he just needs a little rounder cheeks but 
Andre says he looks more like Hector. I think I did pretty freaking good, okay? I was pretty pumped. So now I wanna do like the whole family. So that's Miguel, or even like if you just kind of rest him with the hoodie, so cute. All right, and then the other one that I did, and this is another one that I really thought was super easy DIY. So you guys can see my candle holder back here, my Jack Skellington. I put him on a black candle holder, which I think as a DIY, it could be really cute to do like his bow tie on there because his neck really is that skinny. So cute. And then you guys can see the other Disney decorations back there. You guys can see my Stormtrooper candy holder back there. And then I've got a Mickey pumpkin candle holder. Those are not my DIYs. It's just the Disney vibes. But here's what I did. So I bought these push lights on Amazon, pack of four. I'll link it down below for you guys. You guys can see them glowing there, but how cute would this be? So this is what we're gonna do. We have steps leading up to our house. So we're gonna line the steps with like these little candles that are battery operated little candles and these. So all I did, and this is how you could do it with your kids. You could just outline like the eyes and the mouth for them or just let them do it. And it's just black paint. That's all I did. And then when you push on it, so I did the many faces of Jack Skellington. So this one's like the angry one. This one's the happy one. <laughs> this one is the surprised one. And this one is the half, I think this one's like the conniving one. I didn't do the very, very mean one. I thought these were so freaking cute and they're cute like as a set. So don't, don't ask me what that was. So I'm going to put these in the stairs. I think those are really cool DIY for little kids. And you can do it all watching the movie or eating candy on Halloween night. I just thought that was so neat. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of the Halloween-ness and the DIY projects. I know you guys enjoyed them last year. So last year, I'll link these down below. I had done a unicorn pumpkin video, which a lot of you guys sent me your DMs. You guys had done them yourself and you sent me DMs or you commented them like the links below on Facebook or you guys emailed me your pictures. And I got so many of these. So if you guys do try these, please send them to me because I love seeing your ideas and you guys trying these things out yourself <laughs> and nerding out with me. So I did the unicorn pumpkins and then I did the creepy cute stuff. So I had gotten a bunch of just regular old like skulls and vampires. And I think I got like a Frankenstein and I painted them all in pastel colors. I painted a bunch of pumpkins in pastel colors and I got some candle holders that were holding pumpkins. It was very cute. So if you guys want more DIYs, I will link those down below for you guys as well. And we just have a couple days left of our Halloween party. So if you guys have any requests for the next couple videos, comment them down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys don't want to miss any new videos coming out because I may be continuing into November. Hit the bell so that you get a notification whenever I post up a new video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.